On this session, we're going to talk about centrifugation, uh, and it's quite important how you pick your centrifuge. There's lots of different models out there. Uh, typically, we've got to try and find out how what model suits when we're centrifuging equine semen. Now, equine semen uh, really it's, plays an important part when you're actually doing fresh or chilled that most stallion semen does need to be centrifuged at some point. So picking the right centrifuge is important. Uh, to start with, we've got to make sure it runs within the limitations of what you want. Now, when we're spinning semen, it's usually between anything from 200G up to maybe 1500G. Uh, so we want to make sure that the, the centrifuge can run well within those parameters. Also, I think it's quite good to have a clock on there so it counts down uh, and will stop when you have uh, your desired time. And also an alarm, so if you do wander off, it'll tell you when the centrifuge is finished. Uh, it is also important to make sure you have swing out rotors. When you have the semen going into here uh, and it goes into these buckets, they actually forcibly, when they're spinning around, they actually spin out outwards rather than actually fixed. This makes a big difference because when you finish centrifuging, uh, if it's a fixed rotor, you'll see a line of semen going down your test tube, or whereas it's a swing out rotor, we want all the semen as a pellet at, at the end. Uh, and then it's much easier to aspirate afterwards. The, Whenever you're putting these in, it's always make sure that you get them properly balanced. If you don't have them properly balanced, in other words, a test tube opposite each other, the, it's going to have a lot of vibrations and it's not going to work uh, nearly as well. In fact, you can actually obviously break your centrifuge. So it's making sure that they're properly calibrated and they're properly uh, balanced before you close it up. So when you're spinning the semen down, you've got to pick your desired uh, um, uh, rate. And it can be either measured in uh, G-force or RPM, uh, which is revs per minute. Now, a lot of centrifuges just have RPM, but uh, you've got to find out how that correlates to G-force. And there is a simple formula on the uh, internet that you just measure the radius in here, uh, and you put it into a formula with the radius, and then you look into what your, G, uh, what your revs per minute is, and then that will give you what the G-force is. If you've got G-force on there, great. You can just select whichever one you want. So this actual specific centrifuge, it's times 10. So where it's got 100 on there, it actually means it's 1,000 G, and we've got our 20 minutes. Um, and literally, we press go, shut the lid, and then press start. And then this will obviously count down until it finishes.